Chihuahua Giant. The Chihuahua Giant is a western red cedar, and it's the tallest tree in Canada. It's near the Chihuahua Lake, which is in the Pacific Rim National Park Reserve on Vancouver Island, and dwarfs everything around. The tree was first discovered in 1988, and it now measures 182 feet tall, has a diameter in excess of 20 feet, and has almost 16,000 cubic feet of wood, which is enough to produce 450 telephone poles. Luckily, it'll never be used for that purpose because it's in a protected area which was created in 1971. This was deemed necessary because on Vancouver Island, at least 87% of the old-growth forests have already been logged. And if measures weren't taken, all of the others, including the Chihuahua Giant, would almost certainly have been chopped down too. Number 14. Wisteria Wisteria trees are some of the most in-demand plants around the world and are native to China, Korea, Japan, and parts of the US. While you might normally see them growing in backyards or creeping up house walls, if they're cared for properly, they can become enormous. One of the largest in the world, and certainly the most spectacular, is the Ashikaga Flower Park in Japan. It's 144 years old and now covers an area about half an acre. The vines that hang from the tree can become so heavy when in full bloom that it's not able to support itself so a network of steel pylons is required to allow it to flourish like this. The canopy is simply stunning, and when sunlight shines through, it illuminates everything beneath in a warm pink and purple glow, making it one of the most popular botanical attractions in the world. Number 13. Dorner Fir The Dorner Fir in Coos County Forest, Oregon is a coastal Douglas fir, and at just over 327 feet tall, it's the tallest known non-redwood tree in the world. It's a surprise that it managed to grow to this height because the vast majority of the big trees in Oregon were cut down to satisfy demands from the construction industry. This individual tree was only discovered in 1989, however, having somewhat evaded the loggers and now is expressly protected from suffering a similar fate. Thought to be around 450 to 500 years old, it has a diameter of 11 and a half feet, which is by no means the widest known Douglas fir, and suggests that it's quite possible there's an even larger one somewhere out there that one day may be discovered and take the donor's fir crown. Number 12. Lagoa Christmas Tree While we all have different trees and shrubs in our backyards, there's one type that unites millions around the world each year, the Christmas tree. You may have seen ones that appear to be gigantic, such as the one at Rockefeller Center, but these pale in comparison to the one that's displayed each year in Rio de Janeiro. The Lagoa Christmas tree is the largest floating Christmas tree in the world and is just shy of 279 feet tall. It forms the centerpiece of the city's celebrations, and incredibly, the star on top weighs two and a half tons. It floats around the bay during December of every year and is truly a sight to behold, especially with the nightly firework displays that surround it. Number 11. Centurion Centurion, which is a Eucalyptus regans, is the tallest tree in Australia. It's in southern Tasmania, and at more than 327 feet tall, it's also the largest flowering plant and hardwood tree in the world. It gets its name from being the 100th noble tree to have been found by Tasmania's Forestry Commission, and it's only still standing by pure chance. It's surrounded by a secondary forest because virtually all of the other trees from the original forest have either been cut down or destroyed by fire. It itself suffered fire damage in early 2019, which created a new hollow in the base of its trunk. But for now, it seems to have survived and continues to grow. Access to the tree is limited to protect it from accidental damage, and researchers believe it has far more to go before it reaches its maximum potential height. Number 10. Tane Mohuta. Hidden within the Waipua Rainforest on the North Island of New Zealand is a tree that's not only huge, but has a deep spiritual significance for the local community. Known as Tane Mohuta, it's named after the Maori forest god and is the largest known Kauri tree in the world. It's just under 169 feet tall, with a girth of 62 feet, and people travel from far and wide to get their chance to see it for themselves. Many experience a form of spiritual realization in its presence, and often become so overwhelmed that they start to cry. This is a very rare species, as a result of deforestation in the 19th century and dieback disease which is an easily communicable rot. To prevent risks to the Tane Mahuta, visitors to the forest are required to hose down their shoes and ensure there's no soil on their clothing before getting close, and a series of walkways have been built around it to prevent guests from accidentally damaging the roots. Number 9. Nemina Lagerail Mina 
Namina Lagarail Mina is the highest known Tasmanian blue gum tree in the world at 298 feet. As you can see from the aerial images, it's dangerously close to areas of the forest that have been completely decimated by logging. Luckily, it's managed to escape being cut down thanks to strictly enforced rules by the local forestry commission that protect any tree that's over 278 feet. And despite being the current holder, it's known for a fact that individuals have existed in the past that grew to at least 35 feet taller. The species is, however, highly sought after because its wood is ideal for the use in pulp and the eucalyptic oil that's vital to local economy. But in an effort to combat the felling of century-old trees like this, smaller cultivated crops are used to keep up with demand. This specimen's name means mother and daughter in the Aboriginal language, which itself is a controversial choice because the local community has asked that champion trees aren't named in this way. They believe that it gives an added impression of credence to the Forestry Commission, which they blame for being responsible for why so much of the native forests of Tasmania has been cut down. Number 8. Bhutan Cypress Bhutan Cypress, which is also often known as Kashmir Cypress, is a species of evergreen conifer that's endemic to Bhutan. They're a popular garden center tree, and in home environments they often grow to around 50 feet tall. But in the wild, and in the right conditions, they have been known to grow up to three times this height. There's currently a claim that one that's growing in the Himalayas is as tall as 312 feet, but its location is secret, and this is yet to be confirmed. They have scale-like leaves that are blue-green in color, and they're increasingly becoming rarer due to the local demand for cypress wood. The trees also have deep religious significance in Bhutan, where it's the national tree and for centuries have been planted around Buddhist temples and Vihara monasteries. Number 7. Sir Vim Sir Vim, which grows in the Evercreech Forest Reserve in Tasmania, is the world's tallest managum tree and is part of a group of similarly tall trees in the region that are collectively known as the White Knights. At just under 300 feet high, it's the tallest of all of them, but the existence of the entire group is a surprise because before their discovery, the species was only regarded as a comparatively small one. There were originally plans to cut them down in the 1930s and 40s, but the locking company decided it would be too difficult to remove the wood from the region. Later in the 1970s, a road was built to facilitate their removal but because they were found to be so abnormally high, the decision was made to save them and the forest reserve was created in the surrounding area specifically to prevent any further attempts to fell them. There are now beautiful trails throughout the forest to allow hikers to see the white knights for themselves, and a boardwalk has been controversially built around the entirety of Sir Vim to protect its roots from visitors, but some feel that it looks like the tree has been handcuffed into place. Number 6. Juggernaut Juggernaut, which is also known as Grogan's Fault and Spartan, is in the Jebediah Smith Redwood State Park in California. At a height of 460 feet, it's the ninth largest tree in the world, but holds the record as the tallest known single stem coast redwood. Amazingly, it was only discovered in 2014 after a concerted drive by the California State Parks Foundation to map all of the trees under their jurisdiction. An aircraft was hired that was fitted with LiDAR sensors and flew across the parks to scan the terrain below. By measuring 85,000 points every second, it took several years before Juggernaut was fully measured, and as well as its enormous height, it was found to have a width of 27.37 feet and an estimated volume of 42,158 square feet. Number 5. Yellow Moranti in the Malaysian state of Sabah on the island of Borneo, researchers have continuously found larger and larger trees during surveys of dense forests. By using aerial scanning techniques, they focus on a specific species of tree called the yellow maranti, and in recent years, the record for the tallest has jumped from 288 feet to 308.7 feet in 2016, and then in 2019, they found a new specimen that's a whopping 330.7 feet tall. This makes it by far the highest known tropical tree in the world and it's thought to be heavier than the takeoff weight of a Boeing 737, and that's without taking the roots into account. This new discovery has been named Manara, which is the Malay word for tower, which seems fitting considering if you were to lay it along the ground, it would be longer than a football field. All of the new monsters have been found growing in the Danam Valley Conservation Area, which is one of the best protected regions of the rainforest in the whole of Southeast Asia. Along with protecting the plants, it's also a vital habitat for endangered species like orangutan, clouded leopards, and forest elephants. 
Yellow Maranti trees are also considered to be endangered, just like the animals because of this extensive deforestation where the wood is often used to make molds for pouring concrete. Studies in the region are therefore strictly controlled to prevent too many people accessing and seeing the natural resources that could potentially be plundered, so researchers are limited in how they can survey. It's thought quite likely that there may be many more trees, perhaps not even Yellow Maranti, that are far taller than Minara but it might be quite some time until we know for certain. Number 4. Tennessee Treehouse When some people see a strong, tall tree, the first thing that comes to mind is that it's ideal for building a treehouse in. There are some incredible structures around the world, but for a long time the tallest tree with a house in it could be found in Crossville, Tennessee, and it was an incredible structure. It took a local called Horace Burgess more than 11 years to complete, and by that time he had finished, the 10-story house covered an area of 10,000 square feet and dwarfed the 80-foot-tall white oak tree that it was built around. Inside there was everything you could want from a house, and plenty more. The structure included a sanctuary, a basketball court, countless rooms, spiral staircases, walkways, and balconies. A further six nearby trees were used to add extra support, and Burgess also built a chapel inside, which he used to officiate 23 weddings. Astonishingly, all of this was created at a cost of just $12,000, and most of the material was acquired from scrap heaps. It took 258,000 nails to hold everything together, and the treehouse became a popular tourist attraction. Sadly, though, it wasn't meant to last. It was forced to close to visitors in 2012 because it didn't adhere to building regulations, and in October of 2019, a fire raged through it and burned it to a crisp within 15 minutes. The fire at the famous minister's treehouse off of Beehive Lane in Crossville. With no on-site electricity and no storms in the area at that time, the cause of the fire was thought to be suspicious, but so far no investigations have been launched to find out the truth. Number 3. Rainbow Eucalyptus one of the most stunning trees for their appearance is the rainbow eucalyptus, and in the right conditions, they grow surprisingly tall. Native to the Philippines, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, they have been exported around the world and are now grown in a range of different environments because there is truly no other tree that looks anything like them. Their trunks are covered in vibrant colors, and this occurs because of the way that they grow. They can reach up to 250 feet tall, with a trunk diameter of as much as 100 inches, and they can reach this size in a relatively short period of time. This fast rate of growth results in the periodical shedding of strips of bark, and this is when the colors of the inner layers become revealed. Streaks of greens, reds, oranges, grays, and purples can emerge, almost as if it's been splattered with paint. One of the most amazing rainbow eucalyptus specimens in the world can be found on the Hawaiian island of Kauai. They were imported in the 1920s in an attempt to help control soil erosion and to regrow the forests that had been cut down. And the environment proved to be perfect. Some roads are now lined with them, with individuals growing in excess of 200 feet in what is both a surreal and incredible sight. Number 2. Sumamera The Amazon rainforest is well known for its rich biodiversity, and it's not just animals that thrive here. There are an estimated 390 billion trees from as many as 16,000 different species, but because of the climate they grow in, very few reach the heights of species found elsewhere in the world. There is one exception to this, though, called the Sumamera. It's a species of kapok tree and is by far the highest in the rainforest, growing to an average height of 200 feet. There are likely specimens that become far higher, with the current record standing at 252 feet. It's an incredibly fast-growing species and can raise tens of feet per year, which means that what may have seemed like an average-sized tree a few years ago may now be the tallest in the rainforest, and we'd never know about it. Their trunks have a diameter of around 10 feet, and they're one of the most easily recognizable types of trees in the Amazon basin. They tend to grow on the floodplains of the rivers, mainly because when they're growing they need huge amounts of water and nutrients to sustain their development but their roots grow above ground to protect against the floodwaters of the wet season and can be seen reaching as high as 50 feet up the trunk. Each tree produces hundreds of seed pods that are surrounded by fluffy fiber, and because of their stature in the rainforest, they've become an integral part of local traditions and mythology. The fluff is used by tribes for the production of blowgun darts, and the trees support so many species of animals that they are often the starting point for hunts. So integral to the ecosystem these trees are, they were seen as sacred by the Mayans and are featured in carvings and writings across the region. Number 1. Hyperion 
the giant redwoods that grow in California are, by some degree, the tallest trees in the world. There are a large number of these giants throughout the state, but one that eclipses the rest is known as Hyperion. First discovered in 2006, it has been measured and verified to be 379.1 feet tall and is in a remote region of one of the Redwood National and State Parks. Its precise location and details have, however, been kept a secret because there are fears that making this information public would encourage people to visit and potentially damage it. Thought to be somewhere between 600 and 800 years old, it contains as much as 18,600 cubic feet of wood, but it's unlikely to hold its record for much longer. There's evidence to suggest that woodpecker activity at its peak has prevented it from growing any further in recent years, and with countless other trees vying for its crown, it's only a matter of time until another giant is found that'll take the title.